And as we wind down from contentious county, state, and congressional primary races, we are reminded that uh, this year's city council races are just getting started. 17's Maddie Gannon in studio now with more on what we can expect here in Bakersfield. Maddie? Jim, there's four council seats on the ballot this year. Today, we confirmed three of four incumbents will seek re-election, and the races are already starting to take shape. After a lively, months-long redistricting process, <laughs> Bakersfield's new city council map is set for the next decade. And this year, four city council seats will be back on the November ballot. But I also want to thank many of the members of the community, including many of the advocates who have come tonight. In the first ward, to, Eric uh, Arias will seek re-election. He's held the seat since 2020, when he was chosen by voters to replace outgoing councilman Willie Rivera, who left halfway through his term. I think this is a very positive and a visible thing that we can do in our community. In the third ward, Councilman Ken Weir will be back on the ballot, seeking his fifth term in office. Weir already facing a challenger. Local businessman Boyd Vininger announced his candidacy last month. Bakersfield's been so good to me, I just think it's time that maybe I try to give something back to it. Voters will also see Bakersfield's fourth ward on the November ticket, where Councilman Bob Smith will run for a fourth term. Uh, one of those privileges has been um, representing the city of Bakersfield. And in Bakersfield's 7th City Council Ward, Councilman Chris Parlier, who sat on the council for eight years, will step down. I will not be able to seek re-election. The ward saw big changes in the redistricting process. The new map drawn by grassroots organization, the Jakara Movement, unites the Sikh and Punjabi communities in the 7th Ward. I have seen my community go underrepresented for far too long. Jakara Movement the leader and Ward 7 native, Manpreet Kaur has already announced a run, um, saying she's inspired to carry on Parlier's involvement in the community. You know, he's a regular face at any of the events that we were holding, whether it was a candlelight vigil, um, in response to a hate crime or it was our annual parades and so that really changed my impression of how interactive a city council member really can be in their immediate ward and neighborhood and Councilman Chris Parlier is stepping down due to health concerns. He's been battling Lyme disease. And those considering a run for a city council in Bakersfield still have until August 12th to officially declare their candidacy. In studio, Maddie Gannon, 17 News.